Hi, in this video we will take a look at how to add a guest to the guest list for today, as well as how to add a reservation for a future date. Let's look first at adding a guest to the guest list for today. We have a couple of areas that we can do this. Number one, we have our mini guest list in the upper left hand corner. To add a guest to this guest list, possibly because we're running a wait, or again we want to have reserve assist us in helping where to seat this guest, all we have to do is tap on the mini guest list, tap on the plus sign in the corner, and then enter in our guest's information. What time are they looking to dine? Is it now? Is it at a little later time today? As long as it's today, we're able to do it here on this guest list. What's the party size? and are there any requests. As soon as we've entered that information, we'll tap on the Check Availability button. Reserve will see what is available, and again we will tap on the time that we would like. Once we've done that, we'll tap on Book. Our contact information screen opens up and we can enter the information about our guest. Again, we can search for a contact here if we're maintaining some type of a database or simply type in a name if it's what we want to print on a chip printer. Any other information about this reservation, such as if they're celebrating a special occasion, tap on Save. This guest has now been added to our guest list. If we want to mark this guest as arrived, we can simply double tap. They'll turn this bright green color, letting us know they are arrived, and they will be time stamped as such. In one of our other videos, video number two, I believe, we talk about seating this guest, either dragging and dropping them to a table or single tapping and using game plan to seat them. What we've done just now is added a guest to the mini guest list just by tapping out on this mini guest list here in the upper left hand corner, again to make guests to the list for today. We can also do this down here at the bottom in the ribbon bar under the guest list. This guest list is just a more comprehensive view of the mini guest list. It includes things like guests that are in service currently, as well as guests that have been served or those that have no showed or canceled. But we can also book a reservation for today in this spot simply by clicking the Book Reservation button. Same screen, selecting our time, our party size, any requests that they might have. Check Availability, and then select the slot we would like, and click Book. Contact screen, we'll enter in our reservation name here. Any other special requests? and tap on Save. This guest is now labeled as a call ahead here on our full guest list, but if we were to go back to our floor plan by tapping on our floor plan button and tap on our mini guest list, you'll see that this guest is also added now to our mini guest list. It's just another spot you can build that list. Lastly, I want to discuss here the option of adding future reservations. So we know we can add reservations for today to the guest list here, to the mini guest list, but you can also add a future reservation for a future date by typing on, tapping on reservations. We'll do the same thing here using book reservation, but you'll notice now I get the option of putting in a future date. So I can select a date other than today, a time frame that I want, party size, any requests, and then check availability. And again, I'm checking availability for a future date. It'll give me the options that I have. I'm going to tap on the one I'd like, and again, tap on book. Guest information goes in. Any other information I've collected, and tap on save. That reservation is now going to show up on my mini guest list for a future date. And that is how we add guests to the guest list for today or for a future date. Thanks for watching.